Good afternoon, everyone, uh, including those faculty, staff, students, and friends who uh, may be listening in uh, and viewing us through the webcast. Uh, I hope all of you had a good, uh, wonderful, relaxing holiday, uh, Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, I'm uh, glad to see you all back here today. I'm sure you're all wondering why we called uh, this special meeting today in the midst of everyone's end of the semester busy schedule. Uh, well, there's nothing like a little mystery to pique your curiosity, and uh, I promise not to disappoint you. Uh, I have been uh, dean, uh, and it's been my privilege to serve as dean since 2005. And in that time, our school, through our collective efforts, has achieved many significant milestones. We've celebrated our 80th anniversary. We have academic programs that have ascended in national prominence. Our faculty have been named to prestigious academies, and we have hired remarkable new faculty. Our students have gone on to reach the highest levels of government and industry. And we've also started a new degree in leadership and new major on health policy and economics. A reorganized uh, and revamped undergraduate program and many other accomplishments. Well, today marks one of the most significant milestones in our school's history. It is my great, great honor to announce that our school has received a $50 million naming gift from the Price Family Trust. The gift is from the Price Family Charitable Fund, and it's to honor the life and legacy of Sol Price, the founder of Price Club. Well, many of you uh, may be familiar with Price Club, and perhaps more familiar with its successor, Costco. You may not be familiar with the man himself. Uh, Sol Price was a brilliant businessman and entrepreneur who applied his creativity to the business as well as the nonprofit worlds. And he was also a man with a profound commitment to social justice. This naming gift reflects a remarkable alignment between Sol Price's life and legacy and the mission of our school. Sol Price possessed a deep understanding of the interplay of the public, non-profit, and private sectors in improving the quality of life for individuals and communities. He also recognized the great value of an interdisciplinary approach to bring about positive social and economic change, including all the major fields of our school. Indeed, it is rare to find a benefactor whose life mission so closely aligns with our school and we are deeply grateful and honored to be selected to represent his legacy. A USC alum, Sol Price began his career in 1939 practicing law in San Diego, California. In 1954, and a, a, he and a few of his clients launched, launched Fedmart, a membership retail chain which was the forerunner of Walmart, Kmart, and Target. After leaving Fedmart, he started the Price Company in 1976, known as Price Club. Price Club then eventually merged with Costco in 1993, and it revolutionized consumer buying habits throughout the world, providing greater value to retail customers and business customers alike. Following the sale of Price Company, Sol and his son Robert went on to start Pricemart, a public company operating warehouse clubs in Central America and the Caribbean. Today, membership retail clubs comprise a $70 billion industry with more than 40 million members. Interestingly enough, Sol Price was also a pioneer in real estate. Starting either the first or second, there's some dispute about this, real estate investment trust, REIT, in California in 1972. Following the sale of the Price Company, he formed another REIT with shopping center holdings throughout the United States. In addition, 
He also employed his real estate, real estate expertise in his philanthropic endeavors in San Diego, leading the development of library and recreation facilities, office space, and housing in the community of City Heights. Price was known especially for the care and dignity with which he treated employees. He paid high wages and offered generous benefits, earning their ongoing loyalty and support. In fact, he mentored the current CEO of Costco, Jim Sinegal, who was a former Price Club employee. Sol Price cared about his customers, viewing himself as their trustee and fiduciary. <laughs> Just as important, Sol Price had a deep, passionate commitment to social justice and reducing poverty. A son of immigrants who were involved in the early efforts to unionize garment workers, he was profoundly influenced by their efforts to advance worker rights. In his early years as an attorney in San Diego, he was known as the go-to <coughs> attorney for local Jewish organizations who needed pro bono advice. Throughout his life, he invested in philanthropic efforts that supported those in need, including the major urban development initiatives to revitalize the low-income City Heights area of San Diego. His legacy includes support for public policies aimed at poverty reduction, the role of nonprofit organizations in social services, access to quality education and health care, and community development. He was a man of great integrity, guided by his personal principles to improve the quality of life for the less fortunate. He championed national public policy as well. He was a member of the Board of Trustees of the Urban Institute in Washington, D.C. He served as an active member of the Board of Governors on the Center of, for Budget and Policy Priorities in Washington. And he served as uh, a member of the Consumer Advisory Group for the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Well, Sol's grandson, David, was a student in our school and graduated just this past May. His family attended commencement where they saw firsthand our extraordinary faculty and students, and he called and decided he wanted to learn more about our school. So, effective tomorrow, November 29, our school will be known as the USC Soul Price School of Public Policy. will be used to launch the Seoul Price Center for Social Innovation, an ongoing collaboration between the school and the Price Family Charitable Fund. The fund has worked since 1983 to transform low-income urban areas, particularly through active involvement in City Heights. The fund was, has supported a place-based and holistic approach to community development, including housing and retail development, education, transportation, employment, and health care. So you can see uh, what they do intersects with our school. With our school's academic rigor and practice-based expertise, we can work together to develop viable, sustainable models of community development that can be replicated in other neighborhoods across the country, as well as foster a national dialogue on social and urban development issues. The center will provide a fertile ground for first-hand learning for our students, a testbed for faculty research, and an on-the-ground implementation of our school's mission, an opportunity we are very excited to begin. And I want to take a moment also to address the decision to modify the name of the school, which was not taken lightly and was done in discussion with the Price family and with the university administration. Our intention was to choose a name that effectively positioned our school for future growth and achievement. Since 1998, our school has reflected three key academic fields, but it was not all inclusive of our school's disciplines. 
While the name was meaningful within the school and our immediate family, it was cumbersome and confusing to outside audiences. Media rarely used it. And when participating in professional meetings with peer <coughs> institutions or approaching outside donors for support, our name raised questions and confusion more often than not. So it was paramount to consider options that would more simply and practically define our focus and purpose to critical audiences that we wanted to reach. And after long deliberation, we chose to identify as a school of public policy because the term best reflects on the understanding of the evolving interdisciplinary approach to societal problem solving that is at the core of our school's mission. So, again, today marks a great milestone and turning point in our school's history. One that has come about because of the extraordinary achievements of our past and one that holds the promise of even greater success in the future. So I invite you to join me in celebrating this momentous day for our exceptional school. After the conclusion of this meet meeting, I ask you to join me upstairs in room 308 uh, for a champagne toast to, this, to commemorate this special day. USC President Max Nikias will hold a special campus and school-wide event to celebrate this wonderful gift on February 7th. You'll have an opportunity to meet Sol Price's son, Robert Price, and his wife, Allison, and honor their family for this extraordinary generosity and belief in our school. More details will be sent out soon, uh, but please save this date, and I hope all of you can attend. I am extremely proud of what we have accomplished together as a school, and look forward enthusiastically to welcoming the Price Family Charitable Fund as partners, collaborators, and friends. They join with us to work toward a common purpose that honors Soul Price and improves the quality of life for people and communities in a meaningful and sustainable way for generations to come. Together, we will further our rich legacy of excellence and innovation and accomplish many great things. As the USC Price School of Public Policy, we have a tremendous opportunity to make a very real and vital impact, touching lives, improving communities, and shaping the world. Thank you all for coming today, and I look forward to toasting our newly named school upstairs in just a few minutes. Thank you very much.